What is going on guys? Brandon back finally with another video for you guys today. It has been a minute. Like literally a minute. Well, more so three weeks. Um, so however many minutes are in three weeks, that's how long it's been. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But yeah, it's it's really been a while since I posted a video. The last one I posted was that pickups video. And I said, it was like, oh, finally another pickups video. And then I just went MIA right after that, which um, <laughs> I'm so sorry about, honestly. And as you can tell, I'm like all cozy out. I'm in like my work sweats and everything. Um, it's been a very hectic week. Before I like, yeah, okay, sorry. Before I get to the pick, I'll just talk to you guys. Um, it's been a very hectic month uh, with school, with work, and just with life in general. Um, it's just really been busy, it's really been a lot, so I've just been trying to handle that and um, I just hope you guys understand that I do have, I'm not saying that you guys are second, but I'm just saying that I do have a life that I gotta attend to and things happen and I guess just life happened and like it was just timing, but all that matters is that I'm back making a video right now and because I was gone for so long, I will show you guys three shoes instead of um, quick pickups of three clothing I'll show you three shoes that I picked up recently in this month of what November sorry um, in this month of November quick update as well Nike opened on Thursday it was lit it was lit got a DJ playing and everything shout out to Joe Ash um, I believe he's coming back this weekend this weekend meaning when you guys see this it'll be the weekend um, it'll be the past couple days so uh, I actually had my first shift at Nike today. It was awesome. It was packed as hell. Uh, there's so many people. I feel like the line went through our whole store the whole day. Never died down. And it was crazy. But I liked it. It was it was pretty. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, working at Nike just is weird. It makes me really happy. Even though it's just it's regular same retail. It makes me happier that it's at Nike than anywhere else to be honest. It makes me more hyped and amped to work. I don't know if that's weird. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much a quick sum up of updates and everything. So you guys are probably going to want to see what I've picked up. So I will start from my most like just basic pickups all the way down to my favorite most like exclusive pickup. So let's get right into it. Alright, so starting off, we have this Converse box. You know, it's pretty big. Um, I got this at Little Burgundy. I ordered it in store from there online. This video is sponsored by Chow Choco. Um, water. Coconut water. Just kidding. But yeah, I ordered this off of Little Burgundy online because I had some shoes that I returned that I never really wore. So I was like, oh, I might as well pick up an actual like, like winterized boot sneaker type of thing um, that I can actually wear every day. So I picked up these. I don't know the exact name of this, but on the box it says Ristiki. Don't know if that's actually the Converse name because I know Little Brittany has some weird names with the shoes. So who knows? But it is just these leather boot sneaker boot um, Converse, they're really dope, really dope. I like the silhouette of them, they're clean, just black and white, the, my favorite colorway for any shoe possible. Don't know if I will pick that up, but it is some nice quality leather. Uh, I'm gonna be beating the crap out of these over the winter. Um, to me, it gives off of that Geo Basket Ramon type of feel, you know? I don't know if you guys can don't know if you guys can see or like tell, but that's the, my, that's my opinion on them. Uh, they're super clean, uh, and the only branding is inside, so it's pretty low key, and they keep my feet pretty warm because I wore them the other day, and my feet were sweating. So <laughs> that's how I know they're warm. They are the Converse like Therm Thinsulate, so it's like a, a thin insulated shoe. Um, perfect sneaker. I can like 
sprint in them if I ever needed to run away in the snow. Don't know why I'd be needing to run away in the snow, but if I ever did, I got these guys. So yeah, I got these in a size 7 just because I know Converse, I go size a full size down in Converse. Which is why I went with that. Nigga that can do it like you. Really? 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 Yeah! Really? Really? Yeah! Really? Really? Yeah! my work shoe that I got at Nike um, it's pretty dope like at first I really didn't like it I was pretty salty about it because um, we got like a certain amount of time to pick a shoe but I it grew on me actually once I actually put them on feet I said actually like 10 million times in the last sentence but when I put them on feet it grew on me and I really like them they are the Nike Flyknit Chukka can't remember the exact colorway because the box is still in store, as at the store. But um, it is the Nike Flying in Dark Obsidian teal something teal Dark Obsidian. I don't know, <laughs> but it's that kind of colorway. Um, they are in the Flying It Chukas. You know, I can't I can't leave my Flying It roots. You know that fam. So I had to go with Flying It shoe. I um, was gonna get the Lunar Glide 2s, but everybody was trying to hop on that. I ain't trying to look like everyone. So, because no one got these, you know. So I'm like, hey, look at that dude with some puke shoes. And I was like, hey. <laughs> but they actually look really nice on feet. And they're really dope. I was thinking of painting them slash dyeing them black. But no, I'm probably gonna leave them like this. Because they are a very unique shoe. Um, they fit amazing. They're comfortable. They're very flexible. And this, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this because the colorway, there's like no white on it. I'm just gonna beat the crap out of these as well. <laughs> um, but these will last a while. They have the free bottom. Um, I do want to pick up some Flyknit Lunars, so hopefully our store gets some Flyknit Lunars. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, the swoosh, the painting on the swoosh is pretty, is pretty clean, pretty clean. And then you just got your um, orange. You just got your orange, like Nike Flying and Chukka branding there. And yeah, that's basically it. Gray, gray sole, um, gray outsole. And then the mud guard is like a teal as well. So, um, Flying and Chukkas. Yeah. I wasn't needing you wrong, girl. I just forgot where I was going. My favorite pickup slash most skeptical pickup because there's a big story behind it. Um, so I got these off of the Nike Canada because they now ship online. Um, Nike.com, Canada website finally opened, which is pretty blessed and not blessed at the same time because there goes my wallet, there goes my paychecks. And I guess working at Nike doesn't help either because there goes my paychecks times two. But um, caught a restock. Because I'm constantly, constantly checking Nike.com every morning, like, oh, what it, see if they restock stuff. Because they randomly restock things. Um, so it's always good to keep your eye out if you're a Canadian and you want to scoop up on a restock. Um, so I saw these and I had to get them there. They are a racer, flying racers, you know. You know I'm all about the flying heads, fam. Like, don't, don't even front. I'm all about the planets, but um, oh damn, this is disgusting today. But um, damn, yeah, I know, I already know who does, but it doesn't phase me when people step on my shoes that much. But okay, story behind this, I ordered them because they're the exclusive colorway. You guys will find out what it is, but they're exclusive colorway, and got them in. And I was like, oh, finally, they're in. I was gonna do an unboxing, but I was too excited. So I just opened them up, and then this is literally my reaction. I was like, I was opening it, and I was like, oh my gosh, like anticipation was growing on me so much. I look at it, I was like, 
What are those? Didn't know what was going on. I laughed because I was so phased. Um, but these grew on me as well. Like these really grew on me. Even people were saying, oh, these are better than the original colorway. Um, they are the black and white Flyknit Racer. Um, Flyknit Racer with the Volt. I don't know if you guys catch that. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. But it has the Volt Flywire. The white on this side. Volt Flywire. Can you guys see that? I'm going to put my hand in there. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that Volt Flywire going through there. Um, I call them the black and white kryptonites just because kryptonite is neon bolt colorway and um, at first I thought this was a weakness to the shoe like I didn't like it I was like yo I wanted the white fly wire and the tongue's supposed to be white so I was like what the heck is going on here like you guys done goofed but um, it grew on me and it's no longer weakness strengths the weaknesses become the strengths and <laughs> now they are one of my favorite shoes they're pretty clean just the black and white um, got lots of compliments on this. Everyone's liking them. Everyone's asking where they can get them. I was like, man, just check Nike Canada, Nike.com. You know, hit it up, hit it up, and stuff like that. So um, I got it in a size seven and a half, and if it's if it's pretty snug, um, I would have went for an eight. But the seven is pretty secure. It's not too like restricting on the toes, but it's tighter than my Oreos, which is I guess that's why yeah, I kind of like iffy about it. But other than that, it is a pretty dope shoe. Gonna get a lot of wear of this in the summer, summer months. So um, I feel like I can see your soul. Now with you, I feel like I'm like three years old. You know, but the moment. Um, yeah. So two flannets. Two Flanets in my pickup and some Converse, you know, all Nike related brands. I just want to thank you guys for tuning into another video. Um, I will try my best to stay on top of things, but finals are coming up, so if anything does happen, just bear with me. But I do have some videos coming up because I'm probably going to be picking up a lot of stuff just because now that I work at Nike, it's just impulses and freaking temptations every time I'm working to just buy everything that we have in store. So stay tuned for a lot of pickups to come, mostly Nike related. Probably all my pickups are gonna be Nike related in like the next following couple of months or so. But yeah, st stay tuned for that. Um, for those who are still watching, uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, I know it's been three weeks since I last posted a video, but I'm glad you guys are still here. I'm um, still gonna try my best to push out those videos. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Let me know if. If you're from Calgary, I guess. Um, what you think of the Nike outlet? Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So